Maharaja Parikshit said, The Supreme Personality of Godhead, Hari, is eternally situated in his transcendental position, yet he descends to this material world and manifests himself in various incarnations. His first incarnation was that of a great fish, O most powerful Shukadeva Goshvami. I wish to hear from you the past times of that fish incarnation. What was the purpose for which the Supreme Personality of Godhead accepted the abominable form of a fish, exactly as an ordinary living being accepts different forms under the laws of karma? The form of a fish is certainly condemned and full of terrible pain. Oh, my Lord, what was the purpose of this incarnation? Kindly explain this to us, for hearing about the past times of the Lord is auspicious for everyone. Sutta Goswami said, When Parikshit Maharaj thus inquired from Shuka Deva Goswami, that most powerful saintly person began describing the pastimes of the Lord's incarnation as a fish. Sri Shukadeva Goswami said, O king, for the sake of protecting the cows, brahmanas, devas, devotees, the Vedic literature, religious principles and principles to fulfill the purpose of life, the Supreme Personality of Godhead accepts the form of incarnations, like the air passing through different types of atmosphere. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, although appearing sometimes as a human being and sometimes as a lower animal, is always transcendental because he is above the material modes of nature, he is unaffected by higher and lower forms. O King Parikshit, at the end of the past thousand yugas, at the end of Brahma's day, because Lord Brahma sleeps during the night, Annihilation took place, and the three worlds were covered by the water of the ocean. At the end of Brahma's day, when Brahma felt sleepy and desired to lie down, the Vedas were emanating from his mouth, and the great demon named Hayagriva stole the Vedic knowledge. Understanding the acts of the great demon Hayagriva, the Supreme Personality of Godhead Hari, who is full of all opulences, assumed the form of a fish and saved the Vedas by killing the demon. During the Kakshusha Manvandhara, there was a great king named Satyavrata, who was a great devotee of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Satyavrata performed austerities by subsisting only on water. In this current 1,000 yugas, King Satyavrata later became the son of Vivashvan, the king of the sun planet, and was known as Shradadev. By the mercy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he was given the position of Manu. One day, while King Satyavrata was performing austerities by offering water on the bank of the river Krutamala, a small fish appeared in the water in his palms. Satyavrat, the king of the Ravidda Desh, threw the fish into the water of the river along with the water in his palm. O King Parikshit, descendant of Bharat, with an appealing voice, the poor small fish said to the king Satyavrat, who was very merciful, My dear king, protector of the poor, why are you throwing me in the water of the river, where there are other aquatics who can kill me? I am very much afraid of them. To please himself, King Satyavrat, not knowing that the fish was the Supreme Personality of Godhead, decided with great pleasure to give the fish protection. The merciful king, being moved by the pitiable words of the fish, placed the fish in a water jug and brought him to his own residence. But in one night that fish grew so much that he could not move his body comfortably in the water of the pot. He then spoke to the king as follows. Oh, my dear king, I do not like living in this water pot with such great difficulty. Therefore, please find some better reservoir of water where I can live comfortably. Then, taking the fish out of the water pot, the king threw him in a large well, but within a moment the fish developed to the length of three cubits. The fish then said, My dear king, this reservoir of water is not fit for my happy residence. Please give me a more extensive pool of water, for I have taken shelter of you. O Maharaj Parikshit, the king took the fish from the well and threw him in a lake, but the fish then assumed a gigantic form exceeding the extent of the water. The fish then said, O king, I am a large aquatic, and this water is not at all suitable for me. Now kindly find some way to save me. It would be better to put me in the water of a lake that will never reduce. When thus requested, King Satyavrat took the fish to the largest reservoir of water, but when that also proved insufficient, 
The king at last threw the gigantic fish into the ocean. While being thrown in the ocean, the fish said to King Satyavrata, O oh, hero, in this water there are very powerful and dangerous sharks that will eat me. Therefore, you should not throw me in this place. After hearing these sweet words from the Supreme Personality of Godhead in the form of a fish, the king, being bewildered, asked him, Who are you, sir? You simply bewilder us. My lord, in one day you have expanded yourself for hundreds of miles, covering the water of the river and the ocean. Before this I had never seen or heard of such an aquatic animal. My lord, you are certainly the inexhaustible supreme personality of Godhead, Narayana. Sri Hari, it is to show your mercy to the living entities that you have now assumed the form of an aquatic. O oh, my lord, master of creation, maintenance and annihilation, O oh, best of enjoyers, Lord Vishnu, you are the leader and destination of surrendered devotees like us. Therefore, let me offer my respectful obeisances unto you. All your pastimes and incarnations certainly appear for the welfare of all living entities. Therefore, my lord, I wish to know the purpose of which you have assumed this form of a fish. O oh, my lord, possessing eyes like the petals of a lotus, worship of the devas who are in the bodily concept of life, is fruitless in all respects, but because you are the supreme friend and dear most super-soul of everyone, worship of your lotus feet is never useless. You have therefore manifested your form as a fish. Shukadeva Goswami said, When King Satyavrat spoke in this way, the supreme personality of Godhead, who at the end of the yug, had assumed the form of a fish to benefit his devotees and enjoy his pastimes in the water of inundation, responded as follows. The Supreme Personality of Godhead said, O King, who can subdue your enemies? On the seventh day from today, the three worlds, Bu, Bhuva, and Svaha, will all merge into the water of inundation. When all the three worlds merge into the water, a large boat sent by me will appear before you. Thereafter, O King, you shall collect all types of herbs and seeds and load them onto that great boat. Then, accompanied by the seven Rushis, and surrounded by all kinds of souls, you shall get aboard that boat, and without moroseness you shall easily travel with your companions on the ocean of inundation, the only illumination being the effulgence of the great rishis. Then, as the boat is tossed about by the powerful winds, attach the vessel to my horn by means of the great serpent Vasuki, for I shall be present by your side. Pulling the boat with you and all the rishis in it, O king, I shall travel in the water of devastation until the night of Lord Brahma's slumber is over. You will be thoroughly advised and favored by me, and because of your inquiries, everything about my glories, which are known as Param Brahma, will be manifest within your heart. Thus you will know everything about me.